Rams. So, Mr. Henderson, yep. want to say hi to everyone? Hello, everyone. Wish you we, we are on us. YouTube Live right now, guys. Wish you were here with us. Gonna yes. Be a good show, a lot of fun. Yes. A lot of fun. You want to show us something about the old German Owl? Give us a little uh, description of uh, the breed. It's a delightful breed. It's a breed that you can enjoy in the loft as much as at a show, if not more so. I, I love to sit in my backyard and just look at the fly pins and, and let the birds catch my eye because they're just so attractive. Uh, they're, they're decent parents. They're not wonderful parents, but they're decent parents. They raise their own babies. And we have great camaraderie amongst the members. Uh, we don't have a lot of you know what that tr cause trouble, and uh, everybody should consider them. I agree. Yeah. I agree. Appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, no. You think you could show us one bird and, and how an old German owl is judged? Because okay. we have some new timers here that are watching, okay. first timers sure. that have never seen a pigeon show before. So again, this is uh, Bill Henderson. He's a master breeder. The old German owl, the most popular variety is the shield mark, where the wing shield is colored and the flights, tail, and the rest of the body are all white. Has the crest. Ideally, you want the crest to sit up on the top of the head, close to the top. You want the head to be nice and full and smooth. Come into the crest like that. And you want a bird that's real stylish, something that stands up and says, I'm proud. And that, to me, is the most important feature of an old German owl, is the style. Uh, blue bar is probably the most popular of colors, the red yep. bars, uh, second. Uh, the reds and yellows on the other side have started gaining a lot of popularity. Okay. And uh, I think. Uh, Master breeder Jeff Wozniak would be a good one to to see his reds, reds and yellows. And yellows. Yeah, we're going to jump on over there in a second. All right. Oh, well, thank you, Bill. Thank you, Jeff. Thanks. Appreciate everything our president does for the club. He's a fine fellow. Oh, that guy. <laughs> his, wife, his wife doesn't think so. But nah. <laughs> oh, she's watching. <laughs> We miss her being here. Oh, we do, we do, we do. Thank you. Well, thank Thanks. You. All right, so let's jump on over and see Jeff and what he's doing. So, what are you doing with this bird? Doing a little show prep, just cleaning up the feet, making sure he's all pretty, wait, ready for the judge, making sure there's no foul feathers on the feet in areas where they shouldn't be across the back or something. Just doing a little prep work. Some of it should have been probably done at home, but I'm a busy guy. Yeah. So what we want to do is kind of grab these foul feathers out so we make that nice heart. Well, aren't we a grandfather now? We are. Yes, congratulations. Time. Yep, very proud of our children and grandchildren, spending a lot of time with them lately. So unfortunately, the birds get... Uh, suffering a little attention with a working man you know <laughs> yeah it happens it happens you can't be a master to all <laughs> so. but yeah as bill said reds and yellows that's kind of where i'm trying to trend towards is keeping reds yellows kind of maybe spread ash reds yeah yeah um made a commitment last summer to get rid of all my pattern birds i just kept over a few of the babies that that were in the nest when I shipped them out. So we're just trying to focus. Yeah. Trying to uh, share good birds along the way, improve the breed. It's a very popular breed. At this show, it's actually the second largest breed exhibited, which is great. It is at 169 birds. Yep, that's a great showing. So it is. Um, looking forward to hopefully we have a national this year. I was nominated to judge it, and of course, uh, it got canceled. <laughs> So that's not why it got canceled, though. No, no, I'm sure I had nothing to do with that. So, no, no. But yeah, it's a great breed. Love the personality of them. I've had pigeons since I was, gosh, I had one breed since I was 12 years old. So I've been around the, wow. the hobby for a long, long time. So. Wow. 
Well, you're only in your 30s now, so right. you haven't had them too long. But 30-ish something. Yeah, you know? <laughs> but yeah, it's a, it's a great hobby. Any new people, please yeah. look us up. We'd be happy to yeah. help you out. That's one thing about this breed. We're always willing to help people, help people get into the hobby, get into the breed, share good birds. So. We are. We are. Absolutely. And thanks to you, you guys, actually. Yeah. You guys do a tremendous job. With what you do and uh, getting the birds out there to people that are in need. Definitely try. We're so. having an auction tomorrow. There's going to be some good birds in the auction. Is that the auction birds over there, actually? Yes, everything that's tagged, those will be our auction Okay, birds so all tomorrow. those right there. Yep, it's got our time for our auction. Okay. We'll try to do it efficiently and, okay. again, share some good birds. There's an opal white bar. If somebody picks that up in the auction, that'll be the second breeder right now. I mean, opal white bars used to be around... When I first started judging the breeds, yeah, and then they kind of faded away. So Bob Kuzminski's now regenerating the opals and okay. the white bars. Okay, so that's in the auction. So that's a really pretty bird. Pick up on that and, and run with it for sure. All yes. you need to make those is just go to a good blue bar and you're off and running. Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, let's go take a look at that. Well, thanks, Jeff. Absolutely. And we're gonna see you guys uh, around tomorrow. So here's those auction birds that uh, Jeff was just talking about.